morning my darlings from our beautiful outdoor office charlie and i had a very early start this morning we were up before sunrise and i think i filmed a couple of clips you might have just seen as we were driving to the farmhouse for our gym session it was so beautiful seeing the sun coming up over the fields and where the ground and the air temperature was so different there was kind of like a mist over the fields and it just got me so excited for autumn but having said that today is another mini heat wave another warm very end of summer day so we are making the most of it sat out in the garden dexter is in full-on sunbathing mode such a funny boy weather forecast says it's going to get cloudy later on i'm hoping it doesn't but if it does i have plenty more wardrobe clearing out that i need to do today and then hopefully this morning i will get a little bit more gardening done but i have got quite a lot of editing to catch up on so i'm just gonna enjoy working out in the sunshine until my laptop overheats are you being a hot dog dixie Okay, little Dicky. Tick, 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 tick. You're lovely. You are so lovely. I just suddenly started to feel a little bit headachey, so I'm gonna have a little break from some screen time and do my flower arranging. I haven't arranged these yet, I just popped them in water. Um, they are from our Freddy's Flowers delivery and I just think they are always the most beautiful blooms and quite unusual. I don't actually know what that is, let's have a look. I have a really bad feeling that I have just thrown away in the recycling the instruction book which tells you how to actually display the flowers which is very annoying but I will try and guess how to do it while we were away last week Lola was obviously house sitting and she received my weekly Freddy's flowers delivery last week and she is so funny she actually sent us a vlog clip <laughs> of her arranging the flowers so I'll check if she minds um, but it's so funny I'm gonna insert it here for your viewing pleasure. Good morning my darlings and welcome to another day in the lovely Cotswolds where I'd like to invite you to join me in arranging some of Freddie's flowers that have just arrived. They come beautifully packaged and also with instructions as to how to create the perfect all arrangement. So let's see what happens. Louis is in his buggy watching and keeping uh, keeping an eye open for any um, visitors that might be coming this morning. So here we are. Arrange all the blooms evenly around the edge of your vase. So these are the lovely blooms. Gorgeous. Don't smell though. Let's arrange them round the vase. And then step two is slotting a rose between each bloom. I did actually use my little snips to trim the bottoms off the flowers to help them drink water. I've just dropped one. Um, step three, add the Alstromerias, likely more centrally using the other stems for support. Alstromeria. And then we're adding the Protosporum to create a little bit of greenery and foliage in the centre. I've dropped one on the floor. Ew. Here it is. Then we've got the Lysiamsus, right in the middle, using the Pittosporum as some support. And there is our beautiful arrangement from Freddy's Flowers. Thank you for joining me and I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. Have a lovely day. Goodbye, my darlings. So that was mum vlogging her flower arranging of the Freddy's flowers. Now you can see where I get it from, but I'm gonna sort this bunch out um, and then hopefully my headache will have got a little bit better and I can continue doing a bit more work outside. If I'm ever not feeling 100%, the lunch that I make myself is pasta with just a tiny bit of butter on there. So I'm gonna enjoy this outside. The headache is going now, thankfully. I have popped a hat on. I always remember to wear a hat when I'm abroad, but need to get better into the habit of wearing it when I'm at home on hot days like this. I'm gonna have a lot of 
help with my lunch today. These boys love plain pasta, but they are not allowed because they're not eating their food at the moment, so you're not having any of mummies. So I'm gonna enjoy my pasta in the sun and then back to work. Okay, darlings, I am back inside now and that is the church bells going off for 5 p.m i have a makeup masterclass to join now um, which is why i've not put makeup on today i've been really excited for this masterclass it's with laura mercier and nikki makeup so i'm completely barefaced i better make this quick and log on um so i thought i'd show you a little bit of a behind the scenes as to what blogger events alike <laughs> during lockdown. Brands are doing so many launches now. I think a lot of launches were paused during the beginning of lockdown um, and the pandemic, but now products are starting to be released again. So there's lots of really fun online events. So this is gonna be a follow along tutorial. I'll show you a little bit of, yeah, what's going on. And then I have a lovely big Topshop delivery to share with you and loads more organizing to do up here now that it's a little bit cooler. I've got lots of dresses, lots of dresses up on here, which I need to sort through um, and just more suitcases and some more shoes. But first it's time to pop some makeup on. Okay, so I'm just waiting for the event to start and I'm just lying out all the products. These were so kindly sent over um, yesterday. I think we're gonna be doing a full makeup look. So I'm just getting everything out ready and then I need to go and find a little handheld mirror. up after the Laura Mercier masterclass we used um, their beautiful caviar eye sticks for what is my version of a smoky eye aka a gold smoky eye um, we only did the base really really quickly so it's not 100% perfect and then finished with their new honey translucent powder which is really really lovely and then as you saw I just had another quick little dash around putting away some of the clothes I have now officially run out of hangers. I thought I would have more than enough, um, but now that everything is on matching hangers, I have completely run out and I've got some clothes that are hangerless. So I'm gonna have to go and make an order. Um, they're just from Amazon, not very expensive. I will leave them linked down below because when I post an Instagram story with them on, I had a lot of questions. But to add even more clothing <laughs> to the wardrobe, I have got a big, top shop order that I'm going to go through with you now with some gorgeous basics and different bits and bobs and lovely affordable pieces for autumn. Okay, the first two things that I've picked up are these two coats, lovely neutral colours, which I just find super, super versatile for autumn winter. I showed you my Reese Lawson coats a couple of videos ago and I have been on the lookout for a more, more affordable alternative to show you guys and I feel like this I mean, it looks almost identical, but let's see, a fraction of the price. Oh, ah, there we go, 69.99. I think the Reese one was over 200 pounds. And then this is, I think they called it a jacket. Is that a thing, a shirt jacket? In this lovely oat color. It actually looks a little bit more pink on the website, but I can imagine this being really good for these early autumn days. And then over here, the other bits and bobs. I can't resist a jumper dress. When I see a jumper dress, um, in a neutral colour. I always am so tempted. They are perfect for wearing around the house and, well, everywhere. <laughs> What's this? Considered. Considered product created with respect for the people around us and the planet we live on. Hmm. Interesting. And then we've got some, again, neutral coloured 
very very comfortable looking tracksuit bottoms again in this light color i think that light colored tracksuit bottoms just look a lot more chic and especially paired with a fun piece of knitwear of which i have a few here to try on i'll do a try on session for you in a second pink needs no explanation pink and cream are perfect for feeling a little bit more me while wearing loungewear this i I thought I'd ordered in white as well, but apparently I only ordered it in this peachy shade. So I'm going to order the white um, as well. But these, yes, it's a very, very summery top, but they are perfect for hot days like we've had today. And $19.99 is a lovely kind of satiny, shiny material, which I think is really pretty. Another knit, this one is a slightly deeper pink and a chunkier pattern. And then this is actually like a cardigan knit dress. Again, something that I think could be seriously comfy, worn with overny boots in autumn. Yeah, I think that's gonna be absolutely gorgeous. So let's do some trying. I feel like this room just looks so empty. You're gonna have to bear with me until I've got it more filled and looking a little bit more done. And hopefully when I've got the rug down or carpet down, the echo will have improved greatly. But what is a winner is this jumper dress. Material wise, it is so, so soft. If I go back a little bit, you can see how long it is. Perfect length, especially for wearing around the house. To be honest, silhouette wise, this is definitely more of a casual silhouette. It's got quite a wide scoop neckline. The skirt is actually quite short when I was adjusting my hair, then I was like, woo! <laughs> but it's really soft and cozy, a lovely one for lounging around the house. Um, and as the temperatures cool down, this is exactly what I'll be reaching for over the kind of strappy dress that I was wearing today. I like the fact that it's kind of like a grey marl or like a creamy marl almost. So a nice neutral, I could pair a longer gold necklace with this as well. I think that would look really, really lovely possible that I should have put a bra on <laughs> with this dress but I feel like it's one of those designs that's very is it visco girl instagram girl I don't know clearly I'm not cool enough to be whatever this dress is it's very soft it's very clingy so it depends on how much you want to be revealing because this fabric as comfortable as it is is literally clinging to absolutely everything so you can wear it open um and show off a nice bit of chest or you can button it up. I'm thinking I definitely should have got a bigger size. I got this in a size six. Luckily it's very elastic, otherwise I would not have been able to get this on. Okay, I think it definitely looks better when it's done up as a cardigan, or at least it looks better on me, that's for sure. A little bit less skin on display. I might even wear this with gilet and overny boots in autumn. It's quite nice for something different, not such not quite as classic as other dresses in my collection, but definitely a cozy one for autumn. All right, we have definitely got a winning combination here. The color of this jumper, I absolutely love. And if I come a little bit closer, you can see that it again has got these little flecks in there, which I think is so pretty. And I like the fact that it's got this little roll over on the neckline. An affordable pink jumper is just something that I will live in. While well, just working from home, and someone actually messaged me this morning, and within her text she was saying that she feels like the lockdown is gonna be here for another year. Oh my goodness. Or at least working from home is here for the foreseeable. So I'm all for adding some more colorful, cozy things to my wardrobe. Speaking of cozy things, I'll put a little overlay on the screen here, but these tracksuit bottoms are another absolute winner. I think they look so much more expensive than Topshop, and I think it's quite hard to find tracksuit bottoms that do look stylish as well as being super duper comfortable and those that I have seen have been very expensive so these are an absolute winner I love the color they feel incredibly cozy they've got a tie um, waistband so yes these two pieces are definitely keepers this next jumper has serious cozy vibes going on it is an incredibly chunky knit as you can see the pattern and the weave is just absolutely ginormous the sleeves have got a little bit of puff up at the top here so you're getting that puffy sleeve trend um i have to say of the two i think i prefer the other one i'm not sure not 100 percent sure on the silhouette of this one but if you prefer your jumpers to be a little bit more cropped then this one is but then it goes in slightly around the waistband so it does give you a really nice silhouette where you go in a little bit at the middle i'm just not sure on the really big puffy shoulders it depends on whether that's a trend that you want to incorporate into your knitwear this autumn winter but for me out of the two i definitely think i prefer the first jumper feels kind of bonkers trying on knitwear and a jacket like this given the fact that it's been nearly 30 degrees today but i feel like this is 
pretty much sadly the last of the summer heat wave. I definitely need to do my try-ons earlier on. I keep forgetting how early it's getting dark and I know the lighting is not ideal so for that I apologise. But let's focus on the jacket. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's really almost um, kind of 60s Chloe-ish silhouette which I absolutely love. I think it looks really really smart. I love this collar. Love these little pockets. I've propped it on with um, some legging style trousers, slightly going for that equestrian look and just a classic um, knitwear. Love these tortoise shell buttons. I think this is actually my favourite thing from the Topshop order so far. It could actually look really cute buttoned all the way up. So adorable in fact. With the Chloe test bag this is, this is a Josie autumn outfit. And I feel like this is perfect for my style versus where we live now because it's not too over the top um, but it's just a really cute little coat. So yeah, very, very happy with this one. Let's try on the other coat as well. Oh my goodness, darlings. I think we may have actually found the High Street alternative to the Reese Lawson coat. Color-wise, it is, I mean, it's absolutely identical. I think the buttons on the Reese one are not, what's the word, kind of tortoisey, but the same style lapels. This one does not have a lining, so it's better for those more mild autumnal days. But I have to say, <laughs> with this jumper on, it is very toasty, and you can always add a thermal underneath. Left open, looks absolutely gorgeous. Closed, it looks really lovely and smart. I wonder if people will be investing in coats that much this year, given the fact that we're not, well, not all of us are having to go, um, like walking into work, doing our commutes. Are we gonna be spending winter hibernating if lockdown is still here? I don't know. I'd be interested to know what you guys think. Are you gonna be investing in a new winter coat this year? Who knows, but if you're looking for a very classic and eternally stylish high street alternative then this one definitely gets my seal of approval oh it's kind of half lined so the back is not lined but the sleeves and the front section are i can't say i've ever had a cold back so maybe that'll keep me nice and toasty Okay darlings, that is my unboxing done. I have, as you can see, popped on the dress that I was wearing earlier today, put my hair back in a ponytail so that we can be productive in the wardrobe. But I realized this is also from Topshop, so I thought I would throw it on at the end of the haul. This has become something that I am wearing so much in the evenings. I like to wear things that are obviously nice and breathable, not necessarily breathable, but nice and, you know, keeping you cool, temperature regulated during the day. But then when the temperatures drop in the evening and this is a cool house, I'm always so tempted to go and put my dressing gown on. This is basically the socially acceptable dressing gown because it's essentially a cardigan, um, but it's so long, it feels like a robe. So I absolutely love it. It's this kind of grey brown colour, which I'm not going to be honest, it's quite a boring colour, but it literally goes with everything and I actually think it looks pretty chic. So it's very long, it kind of acts like a blanket. If you're really cold, you could totally snuggle up in it. So when I go around the garden with the dogs in the evening, I just, you know, bunch myself up. So now, while I've got the windows open, in fact, it is actually a little bit too warm for it now. Look how cute that looks. I absolutely love it. So hopefully this is still in stock because I only ordered this um, a couple of weeks ago. But yes, I thought I would throw that in as it is another Topshop piece. But what I'm going to do now is bring the two boxes that have not been touched since we moved house filled with shoes um, and do another little bit of shoe organising. fetching boxes and emptying boxes. We're getting there, we are getting there with the shoes. As you can see, still so much space. These shoe drawers, I, do you know what? It was it was pretty expensive, not gonna lie, to um, get the cupboards built back 
into the wall but oh my goodness already I am just so glad that I chose to do that. I think that in a couple of years time I would have really regret not making that additional investment if I hadn't done that because yeah this storage is incredible. I'm under no illusion that this is my full shoe collection. I'm sure as I undo more suitcases in the loft um, or the room that we're calling the loft is actually technically lower down than this room. Um, I'm sure I'll find more, especially boots. I'm pretty sure I have many more boots to come, but as you can see, it's still so much room to play with. Um, but let me explain my method. So starting here, as I showed you, I think yesterday, my smarter shoes, they feel quite sad in this corner, um, <laughs> but who knows when I'll be wearing them and I definitely think I have some more shoes to go in that section. At the top here, trainers and my, <laughs> my Ugg boots. I'm not one of these people that turns my nose up at Ugg boots because they are so comfortable and I will probably wear those to go to the gym or if I find a nice Pilates class nearby, I will wear those in the winter. Boots on this level down here. So like I've done in um, these sections, I've got more of a winter section or autumn winter section and um, spring summer section. Hopefully that'll just help me when it comes to choosing my footwear. So this shelf, the top shelf is boots. I think that this will probably be full when um, I've finished doing all the unpacking soft clothes very satisfying and then this is looking really good here we've got um, well technically my Valentinos are more spring summer but for some reason they're here so maybe they need to go in that drawer but we will see so we've got as you can see pretty much a whole drawer dedicated to mules can you tell I love a good mule I find them so versatile if I need to get rid of some shoes then I am spoiled for choice when it comes to these more square toed open toe mules. I've got three pairs here, two from Anne Leather Stories, one from Topshop. So yeah, I probably should get rid of a pair of those. And then I've got my pointed toe closed toe mules, which I find just go with everything. My lovely Chloe sandals. Um, I don't know where the pink ones are. So yeah, they definitely need to go in there. What's that? Looks like, oh, I think that's an electricity point. Interesting. Um, but yeah, that is that section for now. Can't wait to get the knobs on these doors so I can get rid of these little blue tabs. Uh, then the spring summer collection, we have got my fabulous Gucci mules, my Nicholas Kirkwoods, who or which I absolutely adore. You may have seen I <laughs> grabbed these ridiculous Simone Rocha slides while I was unpacking. Um, and by the way, if that hyperla hyperlapse wasn't a good enough view of my shoes, I did do an entire shoe collection video just before moving. So I'll leave that linked on the screen and that's pretty much all of these shoes, me going through them. So if I pop that one back inside, then you can see pretty much another drawer of mules, Gucci, Todd's, Todd's, Prada, Jimmy Choo. I'm not gonna lie, I have put my fanciest ones at the front because then I can enjoy them, looking at them every time I open the drawer and that's half the fun. And then I think I showed you the rest of these sandals. Ooh. Gosh, I need to be careful. Um, yesterday, don't worry, I'm not gonna get in the habit of shutting these drawers with my feet. And then here we have got, I've pushed my travel bags to the back. I will still be able to access them. Um, in fact, maybe I should just put the travel bags up a level. But then I've got my overknee boots. This was the area that we actually measured according to my tallest overknee boots, which is this pair here. So with the right holders in them, they will stand up perfectly in here and at least now I can see them all in Clapham. I had to reach around the back of a really awkward wardrobe space to be able to find my overknee boots. And I do live in them when it comes to autumn winter. So yes, it's great they are now all visible. I have a few more bits and bobs from the snug room that I've brought in here to sort out. I think this bag is filled with gym gear. Probably need to have a gym gear sort out. Yeah, let's, let's have a little rummage through this. Um, I thought I would keep this little marble coaster on here to pop my coffee and then we've got a couple of hats to put away as well.
shout out to this bag by the way this is from stackers and it's one that um, you can stack on top of your hand luggage if you're traveling somewhere and you just have a little bag with you because you can pop the handle of your bag up through there really really good for traveling and it's got all of your um sections in there great if you like to keep your bag organized i think i'm gonna pop this behind my blouses again where the units are so deep i can store things like this um behind my clothes which is amazing because previously i just never knew where to keep things like this So I've actually decided that I'm only going to be keeping one set of leggings from this pile of fitness clothing. I've got some girlfriends coming to visit in a couple of weeks time and I think they might like to have a little rummage through here. So I am going to dedicate a section. For now it's going to be this little hidden drawer. I've got all my spare hangers and cleaning stuff on here still. But this is going to be the drawer where I keep things where when I've got friends over they know that they can come in here and have a little rummage round and see if they like the look of anything. I can put beauty products in here as well. I feel like this is where my friends are gonna to run to as soon as they come to the house. This is another bag that I have not touched since we moved. I have no idea what's inside. So we have got a mixture of loungewear, thermals, my green Reese time trousers, um, some underwear. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here we have another successful sort out. Um, so I found a couple more pieces that I'm going to see if any friends want. This Gilly Hicks jumpsuit um, and some more Sweaty Betty. They're kind of like long sleeve yoga tops, but I just, I've got so many, I need to stop hoarding them. Um, these are some things that I'm not sure any friends will like. Um, so they're actually gonna go to the charity shop, a few knit pieces, um, some t-shirts, and a few more jogging bottoms. Cause jogging bottoms and loungewear, yes, it's, what I'm living in at the moment, um, but I don't need more than a drawerful, and I think there is more to come. So a few more things that I found. Um, these are my Nike Air joggers. Is that the right term? Joggers? Tracksuit bottoms? Along with these sweaty betty ones, these are what I pop over my leggings to go to the gym when it's really cold in the winter, so it won't be long before I am wearing those. Um, this drawer has become cozy socks. I have got two of these Dachshund socks. They are so cute. I think both my mum and Charlie's mum got me these for Christmas last year. But they are amazing house socks because they've got the grip underneath, so I'll leave those in here. Um, and then these are kind of underwear solutions. So t-shirt bras, tights, and what do you call them? Kind of like Spanx, but they are from Heist. These are amazing to use in autumn, winter for stopping any lines if you've got something tucked into a, a midi skirt um, and then here we have got some pajamas as i said yesterday i don't know if these are going to stay here or if they're going to end up living in the bedroom but for now that is a pajama drawer and then you guys have seen this one already sunglasses in here um, i found a few more workout tops so they've gone in here along with some of my fitness bands and then the next drawer down is workout bottoms pink ones, thick ones, dark ones, and patterned ones. And then we have got workout jumpers, fleeces, um, and things like that. I seem to have a random collection of inserts from sports bras. Um, I just don't think I need these. I've not missed them, that's for sure. So I'm gonna pop those in the bin. Um, and then these gorgeous gloves. I think I got these from Anthropology a couple of years ago. They've got little pearl detail on, on the um, outside of them. I think these should live probably with my scarves. I don't know if there's any room. I might even just, you know, wedge them in here. 
let's see if I find many more gloves but for now this is my winter accessory drawer it really satisfies me how this is looking and then I just made a cute little cluster here of pink things. I showed you the box yesterday and then I found my Stoud velvet bag and this lovely Estee Lauder mirror. Don't know why I would ever need it, um, but I don't know. In case I wanna do my makeup on the island, I want to grab a mirror. If I'm doing a Zoom tutorial, for example, I actually needed a mirror when I was doing the Laura Mercier one earlier. So I was using a small one from a compact, but this would have been much more useful. Oh, and if you saw me throwing stuff on the ground, that's because this is a pile of thermals and things which I feel like need a good rinse in the washing machine just to freshen them up a little bit because they've probably been in the loft um, in Clapham for half a year as well. So I'm going to pop these on the wash and they'll be nice and fresh tomorrow. <laughs> it's an hour or so later I've just been for my dinner which was prepared by Charlie which was great because I had no energy to cook tonight um, had full intentions of doing another hour or so up here but I'm absolutely exhausted I think that workout this morning I did a, um, a 45 minute peloton with like a 15 minute cool cool down and warm up so an hour on the peloton this morning at um, Soho Farmhouse and it's absolutely obliterated me. I think that might be partially to blame for my little headache earlier today as well. So um, I was gonna have a pamper night, but I think I'm gonna have a pamper morning tomorrow instead because I just wanna get into bed and have a fairly early night. It's about nine o'clock, which to be honest, is my bedtime. I think the dogs can hear me even though I've already said goodnight. That's probably why they're barking. So I'm gonna bid you good night. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I will see you tomorrow for another one. Good night.